Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Chat, my weekly vlog series posted every Monday at lunchtime if you're in the UK. And today is the day that I think I am getting bloodborne. In fact, I might get interrupted while recording this by the mailman. That would be quite fun if it happens, so that's why I'm kind of doing this now. In way of what we have planned for today, I'm just going to talk a little bit and also answer questions from last week's Let's Chat. There's actually quite a lot. I was looking at them before recording here. Yeah, there's like 20 something. So we'll probably take up most of this with that. As far as show and tell, well, there's no new Japanese candy yet. But I could show you, well, I can't talk about this, but I can show you that a couple of days after you hear this, my let's look at of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin on PS4, this is what PS4 review copies look like incidentally, will be going live. I'm currently under embargo at the time I'm recording this and by the time you hear this, so I cannot go into any details about it whatsoever. Just look out for content on it starting April 2nd. I'm going to be doing a let's look at using the PS4 version, however I'm going to be playing through the PC version with Rory because that will be the easiest way for it to work for both of us, plus there's a discount for people who own it already. So that's what's going to be happening in regards to that. I'm going to try and not play through the whole thing on that version because I want to be surprised by some of the other changes that I can go into. So that's something that's on the cards. The other thing I wanted to talk about, two things actually kind of connected to Souls S games. So Bloodborne, I hope will arrive. It's it's annoying, but oh, it's annoying, but you know, it's it's a good thing. It's it's first world problems here. I ordered myself a copy because I didn't hear back from Sony, and then the day after my order got dispatched, I heard back from Sony saying, "Sure, we're sending you a review copy. Expect it soon. Let us know when your content goes live, etc. If you have any questions, blah 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 blah." So I have two copies coming now. Yeah, I could just send back the retail copy I bought, but I think what I want to do is give it away. So I'm going to be playing the review copy and I'm going to be doing a blind playthrough. You asked for it, so if I suck at it and I get frustrated and salty and you get salty at me because I don't see where to go or how to kill a boss or, or where some super duper item is that I missed because I haven't played the game before, you remember that you all said a blind playthrough was fun. So please remember that if you get angry at me getting bad at the game. By and large, it looks like a Souls game, so I shouldn't be truly ter terrible, but I'm not going to know where I'm going. I'm not going to know what fits and what's not a fit for my playstyle and getting used to not being able to block, etc. So there's going to be times where I'll probably make no progress and maybe I won't record that if it happens or scrap that. I haven't decided either way. It's going to be a blind playthrough. You asked for it. <laughs> so, and that's going to be solo because I couldn't work out how to, anything I tried, like streaming, say, the Elgato to the to OBS like I said last time. OBS currently has a problem with the PS4 where it does audio clipping and there's no way to get rid of it. So I could just use the Elgato but then I couldn't record record Rory, Rory rather. Plus to access the online functionality I totally forgot you need a PSN account and I don't have one. A PSN plus I mean. I don't have one and I can't really afford one right now so I'm not going to be doing that. So also the Bloodborne playthrough will not have invasions, will not have co-op. Sorry. I mean I think I have a two week a trial that came with the console that I've never used. I don't know if that's still valid. I could use that, but I'd rather know the game first because otherwise I'd just either be getting ganked by PvPers or I'd be getting carried by people who know better and I don't want either of those situations. I want to learn the game for myself like I did with Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls. So that's the plan. As far as giving away the copy that I actually bought of Bloodborne, I'm going to offer it to patrons who back me for the month of April. So if you want to be in with a chance of getting it, pledge as little as one dollar to my Patreon. And at the end of April, so you have to wait a while to get this, so if you know if you're desperate to play it, you're just gonna have to buy your own copy. But of the people who back me in April and whose payments actually go through, I will use an RNG to pick one person at random and they will be offered the game. If they don't want it because they don't have a PS4, I will RNG again until I get someone who actually wants it. So there you go, that's how it's gonna be done. That might be scummy, but that's how I'm doing it. You don't need to take part if you don't want to. On that subject, if Patreon is something you find distasteful, I have fan funding activated on my channel now and actually just before recording this, I recorded a quick 40 second video thank you message that you should see if you use fan funding on my YouTube channel. You need a Google wallet to do it though, so that's probably why no one ever has because who has a Google wallet, but it's another option. Is that the postman? It could be the postman. She's crying, so it might be. I might have to interrupt myself here. The other thing I wanted to go talk about before we go into the comments is that I have an opportunity to move into a new place. 
my sister is moving in with her partner and has freed up where she lives. It's in the same village though, so it's not going to facilitate my getting a better connection. So I'd still have to wait till I can stream and whatnot. But I'm tempted to do it just to have a different place for my own, a bit of a change of pace. It's also closer to the exchange actually, I don't know if that's at all relevant, but it is. The rent is a little bit higher though and it's a little bit dicey payment wise, so that's why I'm going to be pushing Patreon and pushing fan funding and donations and whatnot a little heavy for the next little while while I try and grow the channel. This period seems like a good bet with Monster Hunter 4 doing well, Rebirth does okay, Bloodborne might do okay because people like watching people learn it and getting angry at them. And of course we have Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin as well. So if you have ever considered giving support, even just for a month or so, in any way that is available, now would be the time to do it. I'm pretty sure I'm at least going to give it a go and see if I'm moving is better or worse for me. It would mean I wouldn't have a window shining there, probably, I think. Depends how I set up the office, I guess. But it's something that I'm planning on doing, so your support right now would be greatly appreciated. That's all I'm saying. And with that, let's get into the comments. If I have to do a cut to answer the door and then show off my copy of Bloodborne, whether it be the retail copy or the review copy, we'll see. So let's get on with it. So the first comment on last week's was from Callowim. <coughs> Pardon me. Felt a bit of juice getting stuck in my throat there. Uh, Callowin says, I love Japanese candy, ooh, so do I. That's why I get it. I like the mystery of it and the, the variety. And I don't know what the next theme will be. April doesn't really have anything special in it for us, actually. For the Japanese culture, it might. I can't think of any celebration that might be apt, though. Dragonaka says, Chacha is the man. No, he's the Shakalaka, actually. He also said, don't shave, join the bearded race. And two people have thumb this up and Toby Jones said for the record I wasn't being sarcastic I don't like facial hair I don't grow a good mustache for a start look at this I need to shave already beards aren't my thing they make me look my age that's what I don't like I guess Tanook says he started playing Dark Souls 1 recently and he's having a lot more fun than on his first attempt all right so he started playing it again the first time I managed to take the shortcut down the tower in the forest area oh to the what was it called Valley of the Drakes in the back door to the Plague Town, whatever it was called. Got lost and got stuck and eventually rage quit. Well, you, you were doing things the right way though. You, you ignore the bit with the Waverins in Dark Souls 1 and the uh, diseased dragon. But you go into Blight Town via the back door and then you miss out the, the worst bit of it, which is the bit where you come down from uh, the caverns, whatever it's called, you know, the sewer system. I didn't really concentrate on Dark Souls. <laughs> but yeah, you... you you were doing kind of like, it's what speedrunners do, but also it's the best thing to do because you miss out a very irritating point in the game. You can skip an entire dungeon, in fact, if you take the, the master key or whatever when you make your character and go down that back door bit. That's the best way to do it. You were, you were doing it right. Anyway, on my new playthrough, I just killed the Taurus Demon. He's irritating as hell. With some help from a random, gotta love jolly cooperation. Do you have any tips for a new Souls player? I don't have much tips I could give you for Dark Souls 1 because I didn't ever fully finish it because I hated it. But in general, in any Souls games, pick and choose your moments when to attack, learn enemy patterns. Everything has a pattern. Everything does. It doesn't necessarily mean everything is fair from a trap perspective that will just kill you. But enemies do have patterns, especially the bosses, so learn them and you'll get one up on them. Javier, uh, Xavier, Mono, replied to you saying, I played through two and the one thing I learned was don't get greedy with dealing damage. Yep. Make sure to pull out every attack type from your enemy before going balls to the wall. And then Professor Frank added, kill the dogs first. Well that's in relation to Taurus Demon, because he has two dogs and that's true, definitely do that. Although he'll still probably just gank you the first few times. Uh, but you said you did it, so that's fine. You, you beat him. I would say my advice for Dark Souls 1 in particular is try not to get pissed off at Bed of Chaos. It's a terrible unfinished broken boss that they should have just removed from the game if they didn't have time to finish it and the game only gets worse after that. That is my advice. Daigotsu Arezu. A s'more is a toasted marshmallow and a chocolate bar between two pieces of graham crackers as a sandwich, commonly eaten at camping trips and by a bonfire. P.S. You should try the brown sugar Pop-Tarts. They are awesome. I've never seen that variety of uh, brown sugar, I mean, in any of the places I buy from, but I'll look out for them. So that's what a s'more is. It's a toasted marshmallow, so you toast a marshmallow on a fire and you bung it against the chocolate bar and then between the two of those 
you put whatever a graham cracker is. I assume it's just like graham is a brand, so it's just two crackers or biscuits. You just splat them. That's weird. We don't have those here. We have toasted marshmallows, but yeah, that's hmm. Pardon me. Jason the Nino says, screw shaving. Grow a lumberjack beard and decorate every vlog for the time of year of holiday. I messed that sentence up so badly. Grow a lumberjack beard and decorate every vlog for the time of year or holiday. To be fair, it wasn't exactly a clear sentence. Anyway. Also, no. <laughs> Brian Sobek, Sobok. Love the vlog, just started watching them, watch a lot of your let's plays and I second the fact that they are fun to watch. I'm super excited for Bloodborne, coming out tomorrow, well, when you wrote this it was tomorrow for the US, it's been out for a few days in the US now. Just happened to have time to play it, also it will make my PS4 library a little more worthy. Yeah, mine too, probably. It'll be the first game I, I put a genuinely high amount of time into, I would think. Unless it frustrates me. <laughs> Played the Souls games and poured many hours into replaying them. The Japanese candy and the English was a cool nostalgia moment for me, I lived in Japan for four years back in the day and had many of both. I would love to just go to Japan and hang out for a little while but I don't want to fly particularly and I don't know enough of the language to feel comfortable. But yeah that sounds amazing. After Burn Burnington, it's a good name, says hey Flick, I've been watching you for a while but not much of a commentator. By the way I forgot to mention, I've, I mentioned this in a Rebirth Run but I just realised not everybody watches Rebirth Runs. I've been thinking I'm constantly on the cusp of a cold recently. It's not. It's hay fever coming in really early. So this morning, for example, my eyes are very mucky and sore and whatever. So actually, I forgot I haven't taken my tablet for hay fever today. So that could explain why as well. So yeah, it's hay fever. It's set in early. I totally forgot that we're already almost into April. April is when my hay fever starts getting ex exceptionally bad. So that's what it is. It's not a cold. Anyway, back to the comment. I use OBS to stream and record a lot and... Even if you have found a range of delay that looks like it would work, I suggest testing it. I did test it, thank you, and I did find that I had to lower the delay just ever so slightly to get it matched up. However, I wasn't expecting the PS4 sound clipping issue that OBS has. And it is PS4 to OBS that's the issue, because I didn't just try one game, sadly. When it comes to audio and mic delays, as you probably know, there is no mic sync offset under audio settings in OBS. There is a global audio sync. Yes, in other words, this is in relation to trying to sync up myself to the game, but also to someone else in a Skype call. It's not possible. Sadly. That's why for PC games it's easier. Spherical Cube, spicy garlic crisps for breakfast and feasting on other assorted Japanese candy full stop. That's a statement. Sometimes the rock and roll lifestyle you lot on YouTube live is just too much for me to handle. I'm out of here. See you next week. Yeah, I, I ate some dry ramen noodles from a bag. That sounds very luxurious. DRC97. If you're able to get the audio gap under a tenth of a second, people's brains are able to adjust to it. Well, I sorted that, so yes. The cake reference was to someone talking about how they can shout cake. Oh, that's right, yes. Shout cake in the comment section. If you had the regal life choice of either a lightning scythe, bolter and chain power sword, or a massively long range gun, why is there no... Well, there is a scythe. I would pick the scythe. <laughs> All the other options are irrelevant. There is a scythe in the selection. What's your favourite monster design out of any Monster Hunter game? I like the Rathalos. I like his design. I like that stereotypical red dragon design. Other than that, um, I like Brachydos, but I don't actually like his design very much. I like Devil Joe. I like that they can have a gigantic pickle and yet somehow make him intimidating. It takes some work to do that. I think his music actually helps a great deal with that. Grinning L says he's absolutely terrible with hunting horn, but he did have one for one particular reason. It's the red kezu horn. He has a 100% kick rate after using it in the field because everyone he plays with hates it so much. It's brilliant. Prawn chips hurt me. They hurt me so bad. I have hypersensitivity to smells, so I can smell them from across the building. Well, at least you can't smell them from across the country. Yeah, so apparently if you use the, the red kezu horn, or I guess that might be the only one, maybe there's no regular kezu horn. He gets kicked after using it because people can't stand the noise it makes. Yeah, I agree. Kuno K says, I find it weird that the European release date for Bloodborne is that far after we're getting here. It's always that way. Tuesday for the US, Friday for Europe. It's because they don't want people skiving. That's, that's genuinely the reason. And no, I'm not American. I actually come from Egypt. And no, we do not live in the desert and ride camels. Whispers, that's for tourists. I would not have assumed that that's what you all you people do over there. I, I know, even though I've never been. Anyway, hope Bloodborne is as good as Dark Souls 2 was. Gonna miss shields though. 
Then was another good vlog. Keep it up. Thank you very much. I shall certainly try. Yeah, that's going to be the main thing to get used to. Not having a shield. I'm trying to think of another game where you couldn't block. And the only one I'm thinking of is Metal Gear Revengeance. That had parries only, no blocking. And evasion technically, but not evasion in the same style as Bloodborne. I really, really hated that you couldn't block in that game because there was no good excuse as to why other than they ran out of buttons. So, I hope that in Bloodborne it's it's better implemented than in Revengeance. I mean the whole point is you're supposed to evade and attack back if you get hit rather than block and hope not to take more damage, right? So whether that is the case when you actually play and get into the harder sections, we'll see. Or hopefully I'll see. Xavier Mono says he hasn't shaved for a month and his patchy beard is dot 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 goes to shave. Good bet. ETS Malinik. Hey Flick, congratulations on pronouncing my username right last time, not many people get it right somehow. Wondering if Pillars of Eternity is your kind of game and if you'll do a let's play of it, also loving your Monster Hunter series, you're the one that got me invested in the game, I'm happy to hear that, I'll thumb that up. As far as Pillars of Eternity, I did get offered a review code, I looked into it a little bit and it didn't look like the kind of game I want to cover, I think it's like Divinity Original Sin, right? Though that would be too long for a whole series, and it's very badly timed, because I'm trying to play through Type 0 in my off time. I have Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin to play, I have Bloodborne to play, and I'm still trying to keep up a daily series of Rebirth and Monster Hunter, so I literally do not have the time. I am recording all those series, or well, Bloodborne will be phased in today. On that subject, I might have to start making Isaac runs every other day just to make room. I haven't decided yet. It's either that or Monster Hunter, but I actually record more Monster Hunter as a result of the co-op nights. So there's no room. I'm, I'm struggling to answer all the indie devs that are contacting me about their games for Let's Look At as well right now because I don't have the time. So no, I hear it's very good though. If you're into that type of game it is very very good but also very challenging to new players. Which probably means that veteran players of that game type will appreciate it more. So if that's it's made for you, that type of person. So not for me. I might eventually chase up that email I got about a review code just to do a look at of it but I, I don't have the time to put into that kind of game right now. Grumpy Alex says, hey Flick, a uh, s'more is a graham cracker. Alright so graham cracker is just short for graham cracker. Sandwich with toasted marshmallow and chocolate inside. Alright. Then G Hunt 123459 also said, a s'more is a chocolate melted on toasted marshmallow between two graham crackers. Alright, good. I will thumb up both your comments, I now know what a s'more is. We still don't have them in this country beyond that imported Pop-Tart flavour, but I like it. I'm curious what chocolate's used in the in the Pop-Tart kind. Anyway, the final comment, posted two hours ago, so well done getting in just in time, Reaper. It's from Reaper. <laughs> he says, I think you frustrate me more for having not died on Monster Hunter yet. Have you ever thought of using Skype or something for raid calls for Monster Hunter nights? How do you not know what a s'more is, you poor poor soul? Because they don't have them in this country, that's why. If I said to you, how can you not know what Scottish tablet is? That's the equivalent. You don't have Scottish tablets, so that's why you don't know what it is. Or haggis, although you might know what that is just because it's very infamous. Or you might think you know what it is and not actually know. How about blood pudding? Or black pudding? See, that, that's the equivalent of what you're doing right now. As for using a Skype call for Monster Hunter Nights, I would have to set up another set of volume levels because right now I have it so that OBS is recording the game at a very reduced rate. To record other people on Skype I would have to max that and then lower the game volume separately and also the 3DS capture viewer, as in the thing that streams the 3DS to the PC, its volume resets every time you open and close it so if I ever forgot we would all be drowned out by the music. And there's a very high chance, given that my I've got like 10 different things to do during a month or night, that I would forget. I might consider it in the future, especially if I, need, if I move to a new place, depending on how the acoustics are. The, the internet might actually improve as well, I don't know. But anyway, that's all for another time. So this will be the... Yeah, this will be the last Let's Chat of this month. So the next one will be the first one of April. It might be too soon into April that I can't quite do Patreon shoutouts, but... Remember that's an option. Next month if you back my channel for as little as $1 a month on Patreon, you will be in the running to get my retail copy of Bloodborne. It's PS4 only only. PS4 only only. PS4 only, obviously, but it's region free. So even if you're in America and whatnot, it will work on your system. So there you have it. Although I think DLC is region locked, so please keep that in mind. If Bloodborne gets a bunch of DLC, 
you won't be able to play it unless you get it off the European, European store, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. By the way, if you also use fan funding, I think you get a little badge next to your name when you comment on my channel. But anyway, that's going to do. I apologise for shilling, but as I say, there's a reason I'm going to be very tight for money from now on. If I do indeed move, it might be for the best, though. We shall see what happens in the future, as always. Thank you for listening, and I shall see you again next Monday. Ta-ta for now.